Hey everyone, welcome to Research Tech Channel. Today we have another temperature and humidity sensor. It's the DHT21. It has a design like the DHT22 and DHT11, but this one is uh, pretty much uh, big. You can see the other tutorials about the DHT11 and 22 and also and AM 2320 some sellers called the DHT12 I did all these three tutorials uh, before and this is the uh, one gonna add to them so this one has like three pins ground and VCC it can work with 3.3 volt or 5 volt then a signal pin so the humidity range for this module is uh, zero up to 99.9 percent are age and temperatures minus 40 up to 20 up to 80 sorry 80 degrees celsius and the precision is three percent in uh, humidity and 0.5 percent in temperature it's exactly like the other one i did before i'll see if i have it here yes this one is the am2320 it has the exact same thing but this one is uh, work with I2C bus so now we're gonna see how to use the Arduino board the only problem I found with this is the humidity is not pretty much accurate like uh, and it doesn't uh, come back uh, if you blow on it or something it doesn't come back uh, uh, quickly it takes a lot of time to go from 99% uh, uh, and going down to like uh, normal uh, humidity which is 60 or 70 we're gonna wire to the Arduino board this one as I said has a pretty big range and also negative uh, temperatures so I'm gonna wire it directly with the Arduino board and pin signal pin goes pin number 2 I don't have correct pins here, we just unstart it directly. So we're gonna wire it with our Arduino board and power the Arduino. So the library is pretty much standard for the DHT. I'm gonna leave the link right below for it. You download it, you know how to install the library, just include uh, include library, add point zip library and then you select the library and just download it and this is uh, an example from the library it's called DHT tester it has like here you select the DHT pin with we use it here the same one in the example too and then you define which type you have there are 11 22 and 21 you can uncomment the one you want and and comment the one you don't like but here I just did the inverse we have the 21 here today so and uh, that's it nothing much just uh, spritz the temperature and humidity in the serial monitor it reads the temperature in uh, celsius and fahrenheit and then show it in the serial monitor and in case the the module sorry is uh, disconnected or not powered it will show you that file read from the sensor So we're gonna upload this code to the Arduino board. And don't forget the heat index also, there is heat index. And as you can see, this is the humidity, 82%. I just been testing the module and I've blew on it like uh, uh, an hour ago or something. And it just go down very slowly and the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius over here 73 Fahrenheit and here you have the heat index to consider the humidity and the temperature and show it to you like uh, the feeling temperature you can feel or something in Celsius and Fahrenheit too it's pretty much simple to use we're gonna now add like our LCD I2C screen to show in uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit so I'm gonna wire my uh, LCD screen I'm using ground and then 5 volt 
the module can be used with 5 volt or 3.3 volt no problem here I think I was using it by 5 volt I'm gonna transfer it to 3.3 volt to let the 5 volt for the LCD screen then the SDA and SCL go to A4 and A5 I've used this uh, screen many times it's very simple okay this goes to pin number 2 I should have soldered the correct pins for this but no problem and I've modified this code to adapt it to our LCD screen here you're gonna see the one with the Celsius So first it's better to give it like 2 seconds until it, uh, it connects Here I think I have a problem No it's working fine now As you can see temperature and humidity in degree Celsius and percent air ice Then we have also the heat index it's good to show if you want the pin is not very well very well connected sorry I'm gonna now try the Fahrenheit code here you can choose to do like the math by yourself to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit but uh, you can try like a, a function from the library which is very simple here you just re use the, the HT dot read temperature and here you make true to change it to Fahrenheit same thing with this uh, with this uh, heat uh, index here we're gonna FH and uh, nothing more uh, not like the other one which we should add fourth here so here's the problem again I just blow a little bit on the sensor and then it goes up humidity up to 99.9% and it will not go down until like 2 hours or something I don't know why I have this problem with this module the wiring is not something I'm proud of so that's it for this module and as I said uh, the advantage of it it can use like uh, uh, we can say a little bit high temperature 80 degrees Celsius but not like the turbocouple I used it uh, before in a, in a tutorial so the thermocouple uh, can withstand very high temperature up to like 1000 degrees Celsius but this one can uh, withstand like uh, negative temperatures uh, up to minus 40 which is uh, very cold that's it for this module i hope you like it and see you next time